What's up, guys? Uh, I wanted to talk about the uh, the new prayers, one tick flicking, and in particular this Reddit post and why it's a terrible take in a really bad direction for the game. Uh, first of all, I just want to talk about one tick flicking. One, there is zero content in this game that requires one tick flicking. The Inferno, you could maybe say, requires lazy flicking. Lazy flicking isn't hard. It's not intensive. It just is clicking the prayer on and off af before and after an attack. It's very simple. You don't even need to really do that for the Inferno either. It's totally possible to do without lazy flicking. Uh, even people like Exact don't do one tick flicking in the Inferno, mainly because it's difficult to do over a long period of time without making a mistake. Anyways, um, this guy is saying uh, he's he's pretty much upset that the new prayers have a lot of, of drain on them, which means you know your prayer points drop fast, and that's true because one they just buy their base amount is thirty three percent higher for drain. So on top of that, you also have three prayers that you're gonna have active at once, and not just two. You're gonna have uh, your uh, offensive prayer, your overhead prayer, and your vow prayer usually. Uh, active. So your prayer is going to drain really fast. I think it takes about a minute with like a couple prayer points uh, if all three prayers are active. So he's saying he feels like he needs to one tick flick to use these prayers, which I think is wrong for a couple reasons. One, there's a trade off for using such powerful prayers. There's two actually. The first is that you don't really get a lot of defense bonuses or any from these prayers, unlike we would with piety or augury or rigor. But we all know that defense doesn't really matter that much in this game, so it's not much of a trade-off. The real trade-off is the amount of prayer drain that you're having, right? And there has to be some kind of tangible trade-off for using such overpowered spells, and they are overpowered, they're very good. So I think that this is fine, and the fact that one tick flicking exists means that if you really don't want to bring more prayer pots or use more prayer, then just one tick flick. And I know, it's, it's obnoxious. But one tick flicking is not as, as much as you think it is, right? Um, when you one tick flick, you don't constantly sit at the prayer orb and one tick flick unless you're doing something like training Slayer or whatever that doesn't require you to do any inputs. So what I'm talking about is, let's say you're killing Kriara with a Twisted Bow. Uh, what you would do is you would walk under Kriara after every attack, and then you'd one tick flick a couple times. And then you'd walk back out, and then you'd one tick flick a couple times. It's not risky, just a little bit of extra effort to save almost 30% of your prayer points. Things like that. You do it intermittently. But yes, it is difficult. No, it's not impossible. And no, you don't have to do it either. So, uh, and also, it's, it's a good point to remember that this is just this is just FOMO, right? This person just has a fear of missing out for not using the new prayers. You can still do Theater of Blood, you can still do Chambers, you can still do the Inferno, you can still do all these things with the old prayer book, as intended. This is just more of a risk-reward kind of thing they're adding to the game, more or less. And yeah, it's a lot of people would say it's more reward than risk. Well, yeah, it is. Anyways, uh, let's. I just want to look at a couple of comments here, too. Uh, just like I said before, th this person's saying, uh, well, it'd be cool if they removed one tick flicking and then just made it so no content is balanced around one tick flicking. Which, I mean, he's basically saying there is content in the game that's balanced around one tick flicking, but there's not. Ugh, none of it is, so this point's kind of moot. Uh... Also, he's talking about prayer gear. Prayer gear does have a niche. Uh, use it at like Hydra, or really just I only use it at Hydra, but there are other places to use prayer gear, like Slayer. Uh, just to save prayer points because you're lazy, and that, that's that's fine. I actually think this is okay. I think that's a good niche to have in the game. Uh, beta can be changed, yeah. Okay, here's a good one. Uh, how do you do the Jad combat achievement of not losing a prayer point without flicking? And this is a good point. <laughs> And uh, the answer is tick eating and purple sweets, but it's still terrible. I think this is much worse. One, it's expensive. Like, that's going to cost you a lot of money if you have to tick eat every hit with a purple sweet. And then the other answer is oh, just use three bill in gear and just brute force it, right? Yeah, just use all of this stuff and then you can just space tank literally everything, which probably still isn't possible. But I, I mean, like, is that really a good solution to just getting a little better at the game? Yep. And then the next one I want to talk about is uh, this one. This one's just funny to me. Uh, I don't want to flick prayers. It's not fun. It's not rewarding. Uh, <laughs> apparently it is pretty rewarding because OP saying he feels like he should have his mandatory to one tick flick. So I don't know what this guy's talking about. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't really know anything about RuneScape 2 to be completely honest with you, so I can't comment on that. I was looking forward to playing properly without Carpal Tunnel. Like I said before, one tick flicking isn't like a thing you do literally every tick. You do it every couple. It's intermittent. It basically is like a little thing you can do to save time, or save prayer, I should say. So like maybe at Kefri, 
if you're killing Kefri with a fang, it's five ticks in between, so, you know, maybe you double tap your prayer orb a couple times in between attacks, save a little bit of prayer. Beta testing, yep. Should just make the prayers not use prayer points once you unlock them and stay active forever. Yeah, I agree. I agree, actually. This might be the direction that we need to go in the game. What else? I like my PBM to be challenging for sure, but make it hard like a boss mechanic in terms of attack pattern or very precise movement or whatever not. This one tick BS. I really don't like it at all personally. Okay, again, it's a good thing nothing's balanced around that. I don't think Jagex ever will balance anything around that. The only time one tick flicking is really going, if it is going to be relevant, is going to be in long form content like the Inferno where it takes over an hour, but even there you don't need to use it or a raid where it takes a long period of time, or somewhere where there's active prayer drain higher than normal. So I don't think this is ever going to be relevant where one tick flicking is required for anything. Um, let's see. Carpal tunnel, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, that that's pretty much all the comments I wanted to go over and what I wanted to talk about. I, I think I think it's sad that people want to get rid of things in the game that are impressive. Like I'm sure everyone here has seen Wooks's one prayer point Jad, that's pretty impressive, or Wooks's uh, no armor, no weapons Jad, all of this possible with prayer flicking. Uh you know, level three fire cape possible only with prayer flicking and other, you know, bugs abuse maybe <laughs> um level 53 inferno cape only possible with forms of prayer flicking it's it's something that's important to the game and people like to see this impressive stuff you know killing six jads as the old wise man that's something that people like to see that's something cool but wouldn't be possible if we didn't have one tick prayer flicking so i, I don't really understand why people want to remove skill from the game other than fomo basically it, it's it's silly to me but yeah that's kind of all they wanted to talk about